Welcome to how to replace a screen on a Samsung netbook. Uh, as you can see, this screen was very broken. It had been dropped on its head. Um, so <clears throat> this is for model XE303C12, but most other netbooks are very similar. Uh, so you can follow these steps. Uh, first of all, you're going to pry the screen border off, starting at one of the top corners using your fingernails or a screwdriver. And then you're going to carefully work your way across the top of the screen and then down the sides. Um, they snap out relatively easily. Sometimes you just have to work at it for a minute. Um, once you get to the bottom, you're going to carefully pry it off um, the screen and it's held on with adhesive tape and a couple little clips. Uh, so once you've got that off, you're going to locate the four screws that hold the scre screen on. They're small Phillips screws and um, they come off pretty easily. I have several of these netbooks, uh, so I'm going to actually use the screen from another netbook that has a broken audio jack, uh, but it'll be the same process if you have a brand new uh, screen that you want to replace it with. Um, once you're done taking the screws out, you're going to carefully separate the screen from the cover and then lay it down on the keyboard. Uh, then you'll lift the latch that secures the ribbon cable uh, in place and then carefully separate the connections. Some of these connections will just be held with a piece of tape uh, if you're doing a different type of netbook. Uh, then you're going to verify the part number from the old screen so you can make sure your new screen uh, fits perfectly. Now lay your new screen on the keyboard and align the ribbon cable connectors. Uh, slide the ribbon cable into the connector on the screen and then close the latch. Uh, you may want to secure it with a little piece of tape also if it doesn't feel like it's going to stay. Then you're going to carefully tip the screen up and insert it into the cover. Um, now you're going to replace the screws, uh, being careful um, that the screen is in the cover correctly. If it's not seated correctly and you tighten your screws down, you could crack your new screen. You wouldn't want to do that. Now you ver turn the uh, netbook on to verify that the ribbon cable is attached properly. It should display your Google Chrome just right. Um, now you're going to align the screen border with the screen, uh, making sure that you don't push it on before because it has adhesive tape. Uh, then you're going to use nice firm pressure and work your way all the way around the border, uh, clicking the border into place. Uh, and that's it. You've done it. Thank you for joining me on how to replace a screen on a Samsung netbook. Goodbye.